Dawson Dance SF has dazzled audiences around the world with an amazing brand of contemporary ballet that showcases the strength and beauty of its dancers. And here to talk about the company's latest work is award-winning choreographer and artistic director, Gregory Dawson. Welcome to Bay Sunday. Thank you. So Thank tell you us about me. the, absolutely, good to have you here. Tell us a little bit about this uh, latest performance that you guys are going to do. Well, Yerba Buena is presenting the company for, for the first time. Um, uh, we're bringing in Le Verité. Um, Le Verité um, in title means the truths. And I chose it because um, I really wanted to show the company in its true light. Um, what I ask of my dancers always is to be true and to be real with their voices. Um, since the company has not been seen at a level, this level, mm -hmm. the Yerba Buena stage, um, I wanted to bring something in that really showed the circumference of the company. Sure. Um, we have different levels. Um, we usually perform in smaller venues, um, in intimate settings. And so I want to bring an intimate setting to a large, larger stage. Um, and also bring in the voices that we use it within the company's boundaries. Yeah, it's a much bigger stage, presents much a lot of bigger, different challenges. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, contemporary ballet. I mean, how would you describe and how would you define it? Well, I would describe it as it being uh, the person, the person who's creating would have a knowledge of classical ballet. Mm -hmm. um, and they would bring in within those boundaries of the technique of classical ballet their own voice. I'm African-American. Um, I don't shy away from where I come from. So a lot of that comes out in the work sure. of my technique. And what about the music that, that you have to choose? I mean, we've got a little it's, snippet of it. It varies. It varies. Uh, oftentimes, I make my own music, music mm -hmm. with composers. Uh, this particular performance, I'm working with three, uh, three composers or three uh, performers that I've worked with before. I chose that because I wanted to present something um, familiar. Um, I, we're using Ron Curti, who um, hails in from LA. Um, he's electronic. And Richard Howell, saxophonist, amazing, incredible musician. And the classical revolution, who um, hail from San Francisco. And we did performances with them last spring. As we keep talking about uh your latest artwork. Um, we're going to take a look at some of the video. Tell us a little bit more about the style and what makes your dance company a little bit unique. We're really, really physical. I'm, I'm very demanding on the body. Um, I expect my dancers, as I said to you, to come f from the heart and leave everything on the stage. It's a, it's a rigorous workout. It's only, there are only usually six of us, so they have to hold the, the stage for an hour. Mm -hmm which is very demanding. And, and take, walk us through what, what we're seeing right here. This is a trio of men. Uh, it's from a ballet that's called Dent Drop Bend. Um, as you can tell, they're, they're moving through the uh, music. It's rhythmical. Oftentimes, I don't work on the beat. I work within the beat. Because I compose my own compositions, I can do that. Um, these three men are classically trained, mm -hmm. um, but they're moving through the movement. They're really using their physicality to make the movement work. And then the, I bring the ladies in, who are really classical tra classically trained. Um, they're tall, so which makes it really interesting to see such tall ladies move so quickly and fluid. Um, they're also not African American, so <laughs> mm -hmm. they're really um, using their inner voices, what, what they, uh, how they interpret my work. And the music that we're hearing, when, when the people do and the audience comes to um, a venue like that, is the music live? Is it something that you guys... This is actually pre-recorded. Um, this, this actually performance was uh, in New York, actually, in the Baruch Theater, um, which is a, a black box itself. And I usually, when I go into um, to performance spaces, I like to use a space to make the piece. So this piece would not look the same in a space in San Francisco because the, the, the simple fact that the spaces are different. When you select the dancers, what do you look for? Because I'm sure many of them Spirit. who come are, are trained. Yeah. And they have years of experience. They are trained, but you know, it's for me, it's it's really spirit. I mean, they can have all the the technique in the world, but if there's no spirit there, then it it, it kind of I don't it, it doesn't draw me to them. 
And, um, you, and how quickly do you see that spirit that you're talking about? Immediately. Within the first few Imme minutes of the performance. walk in the room, and I can really, there's, there's an inherent, it's just a feeling that I have. I, I, most of the dancers I work with, I've trained. Um, oftentimes, I'll see dancers or find dancers outside of the, the, the schools and the, tr the programs that I teach for, and I'll invite them in. There's a familiarity with the work that, that really, and the philosophy that really needs to be present within the dancers for them to understand what my expectations of them and their expectations of themselves. So selecting the dancers is, is not, I thought it would be a difficult process, but it, it sounds like it's not. No, no, I mean, it's, it really isn't. It's, it's, because I have this wonderful privilege of working in a building with all of these amazing dancers, there are a lot of artists at my, my fingertips that I can select from. Um, it's a blessing, um, and it makes my job easier. Gregory Dawson, uh, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate Welcome. it. Be sure to follow Dawson Dance SF on Facebook and on Twitter, and don't miss Les Verités, January 27th and 28th at the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. Tickets available at ybca.org. And that is it for our show this morning. Be sure to visit our website, cbssf.com slash Sunday, And of course, our Facebook page where you can pitch us your stories and ideas uh, and give it a like while you're there as well. Thanks for watching Bay Sunday. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.